Hi, my name's Dan and welcome to Sanctuary Recruitment. I'm here to show you how to use your deputy app. First, find your deputy invite email. It looks like this. After checking your spam folder, if you've not received the email, please contact compliance at sanctuaryrecruitment.com. Once you've found it, click the button to create your login details on your phone's web browser. Once you've done that, download the deputy app and log in with the account you've just created. If you use deputy with another workplace, you can switch between accounts by clicking the icon in the top left. Once you're there, click switch business. Now that you're set up, let's claim your first shift. When claiming a shift for the same day, click the home tab and then click available shifts. This will show you all available shifts for today. If you see a shift you can commit to working, tap on it to view the details and make sure to check the notes for important information. To accept the shift, tap the claim shift button at the bottom. Congratulations, you claimed your first shift. To claim a shift in the future, tap the schedule tab and then the calendar icon in the top left. This will show the weekly view. Tap on today's date to open the full calendar and then select the day you wish to work. Make sure it says all locations at the top of the screen. If not, click the down arrow and select all locations. This may take a few moments to load. From here, scroll down until you can find the shift that you can commit to working. Then claim it the same way we did before. Once you've claimed the shift, a consultant will be in touch to confirm it with you. If you claim a shift during after hours, please call to confirm. If you are looking for shifts at a specific facility, tap on the schedule tab, click the drop down and change it from all locations to the facility you're looking to work at. You will now be able to see what shifts are available for that facility. To make it easier for you to look for shifts in your preferred area of work, we have put abbreviation at the start of the location name. For example, if you're looking for Western Sydney, you will be able to find a WS at the start of the location name. A guide on these abbreviations is included in your welcome email. You'll also be able to find these pinned to the top of the deputy newsfeed. To see your upcoming shifts, go to the homepage and tap upcoming shifts. From here, you'll be able to view all the upcoming shifts that you have claimed. You will get a notification from the deputy app 12 hours before your shift. Make sure to go to your phone settings and enable deputy notifications. It's time for your first shift. Once you're inside the facility, go to the home tab and click the big green start shift button at your rostered start time. Don't worry about clocking out for breaks. This is automatically included. When your shift is finished, add any important notes to the shift notes section and click the red end shift button. Some examples of important shift notes could include, you were the RN in charge, you were unable to take a break, the facility you worked in have COVID positive residents, or the shift timings are different to what you have rostered on deputy. The app won't allow you to clock out anywhere apart from the facility, so make sure you don't forget. If you are unable to clock in or clock out due to service issues, please ensure you sort a paper timesheet and get it signed by the RN. You can find your paper timesheet attached to your welcome email. Another option, in your welcome email, you'll be able to find an online timesheet link that you'll be able to get filled out by an RN. If you ever need assistance during your shift, please feel free to call us on 8459 8101 between the hours of 4.30 a.m. and 11.30 p.m. Make sure to save this number to your phone. Congratulations, you've reached the end of your deputy training.